Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm sharing with you an entire day's worth of eating, uh, of healthy eating for me and what that kind of looks like. I need to revamp my eating. I've been just reaching for way more comfort foods and convenience processed foods this winter, and I really need to change that. So I wanted to start today. Um, also including a mini grocery haul in here, as well as a refrigerator uh, kind of clean out and organizational um, thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will jump right into it. For breakfast today, I had some hummus avocado toast, and I've been loving this recipe for a little while now. I've been making it, I've made it a few times, and every time it's just so delicious. And then I also made some scrambled eggs. I like to have kind of a hearty breakfast. Um, if I don't end up having breakfast, I swear I know I eat more throughout the day, or I'll have like big unhealthy meal and my metabolism is not going. So uh, I had some scrambled eggs with some spinach in there. I like to throw in spinach in my scrambled eggs whenever possible. And of course, Sydney had some. So I made three scrambled eggs. And again, Sydney had some as well with spinach in there. And then I also, you'll see in a little bit, I put some cheese on top as well. And then I made myself some hummus avocado toast I, again, have been loving this recipe so much lately. Um, I use some sourdough. You can use whatever bread that you like. I spread a thin layer of hummus on top of the bread. I happen to have the balsamic onion, uh, balsamic glazed onion, whatever it is, <laughs> flavored hummus. And then I slice up some avocados on there as well. The avocado makes it, in my opinion, both avocado and hummus. And then I sliced up some grape tomatoes threw those on top and then I also put on some sprouts. These are really, really good for you. So I like adding some texture and color to, I, I eat with my eyes first, but I do love them. I'm kind of recreating a recipe from a local shop here in town that I love. And then I sprinkle on some dried chickpeas. Top it with a tiny bit of an olive oil drizzle, as well as I like to add the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning on top. And that is all I do. It's so delicious. I ended up cutting this into fourths and Sydney had one uh, little square as well. And then I had my scrambled eggs. And oh, you can't forget, I of course had my coffee. It's the Nespresso coffee that I always drink and it has a little bit of sugar-free hazelnut coffee, cream, coffee mate creamer in there. So in the mornings, I usually take my vitamins. I have been taking this prenatal just to help with some iron, like added iron. Um, you're not going to be able to see <laughs> because I don't eat a whole lot of meat. I only eat meat probably like two or three times a week. Um, so the iron level is okay for me personally. Um, but yeah, I do take a prenatal and then I also do take an extra vitamin D. Um, I know a lot of people are very low on vitamin D, especially up here in the winters where there's not a lot of sun. So I do take two of the vitamin D. So that's, um, 2000 IUs of vitamin D. Now is also when I take my collagen, uh, supplement. So I'll just do one scoop of this in eight ounces of water, but I'll take my vitamins first. Um, and then I will take and drink this after because this is thicker. It kind of isn't good for taking pills. Well, at least for me. So this is what I take for my supplements. I'm just eating my vitamins and showing them what I do for my vitamins. I'm not good at chugging things either. I just had a grocery delivery, Instacart delivery. Um, brought over so I just thought I would walk you through it so it's kind of a small order but we needed some produce and things so I got uh, three bananas always like to get some green on them strawberries for fruit this week a couple of red bell peppers some sweet potatoes English cucumber um, baby carrots 
Sydney and I like those to snack on. Um, some baby Krispy Kremes for wraps and salads. Um, I did get some of this is, I don't usually buy this, but I, I don't know, figured I would try it. Uh, if I don't eat it, Sydney will <laughs> carve chicken, rotisserie seasoned chicken for wraps and things. Uh, for wraps, I got this sun dried tomato basil yummy deliciousness i'll probably have a wrap for lunch today and then some we needed some shredded cheese um i did want to give these another go i think i ended up liking the chocolate chip ones before i didn't like the plain ones um so i wanted to give these a go for like a you know mid-afternoon snack i actually might have one in like an hour or so and then we needed some bread so got some 12 grain bread a cold seasoned rotisserie chicken i'm gonna end up putting this in this is the kind that i personally like i'm gonna end up putting some of this in a wrap for lunch sydney needed a couple of mac and cheeses so that's just her stuff um i did get a couple packs of chicken chicken tenders and then uh, you guys i know these are not healthy don't but you know once in a while i do drink an energy drink as long as they're like no sugar um so i got a couple of these what did i get ultra paradise and ultra violet i'm probably gonna break into one of these it's been you know it's been one of those weeks where the sun hasn't shined today it's beautiful but sun hasn't been shining and i just want that extra energy boost all right so it is 11:45 ish i am gonna have like a i don't know like a mini meal snack i'm gonna have this energy drink most likely i'll probably only drink half of it that's how it goes so i'll probably pour some of this into a cup with ice and then um save the rest in the fridge i don't know so maybe i'll a lot of times i don't drink the whole thing just like half um and then i'm gonna have this perfect bar so this um if you look on the back here it has like 330 calories so it's very calorie dense because it's got of course peanut butter in there um lots of fat from the peanut butter so it's not necessarily like a diet bar but it does have you know a good amount of protein in there fiber and all that so this is going to be like a mini meal This is so good. I can't even remember what it's called now. What is it called? Paradise? Yeah, Ultra Paradise is so good. Mommy. And this bar, you guys already know. I probably only ate like two thirds of it because of little miss. Okay, so now I'm hungry. It's about two o'clock. We still haven't ventured outside even though we need to. I'm gonna make myself a wrap, bring it outside and eat it while Sydney plays. Um, Sydney has already eaten her lunch, but yeah, this is kind of a weird, I would typically, I guess I would usually not eat that bar and like have my wrap first and then the bar as a snack, but it was a weird timing on that. So I'm gonna make myself a wrap with some cold chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, some cheese, um, whatever else I can find in there. The timing in this video makes it seem like I'm eating every five seconds, but I usually eat around every two to three hours when I'm trying to be, you know, healthy, keep my metabolism going, no crash diets, no fad diets, nothing like that. Just trying to regain some health here. And I've been eating so much warm, comforting, fattening <laughs> foods all winter long and I'm ready to get back into the healthy you know feeling good and energetic phase so for lunch I ended up making myself a chicken wrap like I explained so I used that tomato basil wrap a little bit of lettuce I ended up using the Purdue rotisserie chicken cold it was pretty good I only used two strips I didn't want to do too much because I'm you know super finicky I did some shredded cheese some cherry tomatoes as well I ate those a bunch because we that's what we had on hand so you'll see me eat those like at every meal and then I ended up making my own honey mustard just on the fly mayonnaise mustard vinegar a little bit of honey salt and pepper real quick and it was delicious so I drizzled that on top as well I always like to make some homemade dressings it's it's just so easy and fresh 
So I'm just gonna take this wrap, eat it outside. That quick little honey mustard makes the world of a difference. Homemade is just so easy, you guys, if you can make a homemade dressing. Um, I know, you know, there's full fat mayonnaise in there, but that's okay. So I'm gonna bring this outside. Um, if I didn't have that bar, I probably would have had a side of something, but I'm not starving, but I do need something. So that's what I'm gonna bring outside. Sydney and I just got in, um, played outside for a little while. Now it's gonna be her downtime, so I'm gonna tackle the fridge. The past, I've been doing really well, but the past two times I went grocery shopping, I just was like in a hurry to shove things back in there. So I'm gonna take out everything that, you know, has maybe expired um, or gone bad, and then try to organize and do a little bit of prep. I think I'm gonna make some hard boiled eggs to have throughout the week, and then um, like cut up some cucumbers and peppers to have as, easy grab and go snacks. Speaking of snacks, she's having a snack right now. So this is what it looks like right now. Very embarrassing, but yeah, the last two times I went, I just shoved everything in there. I do like to maintain it, you know, so I don't let it go more than two weeks like this. My method when it comes to fridge organization and decluttering, decluttering, I don't know, gutting, <laughs> um, it's bin by bin. Basically, I start row by row and bin by bin. This one tends to get the worst because it kind of has a bunch of everything in it. Um, this one has mostly like deli stuff, cheeses, dips. So I just take everything out and it's kind of embarrassing at how much has actually expired and goes to waste. It just puts it into perspective. Every time I do this, it's like, I hate throwing away food, but anyway, I ended up doing that for everything that wasn't good. And I put back all of my cheeses and chicken and things that were good as well as dips. Um, I ended up putting those in afterwards. I'm going to try really hard to prep some things ahead of time to make everything easier. I am reading Atomic Habits, which says 
just make everything easy and then it's easy to have a good habit just like eating healthy so I'm prepping some hard-boiled eggs I personally do not like the already hard-boiled and cracked eggs at the store I've tried several kinds I just can't do it um, I don't, I'm in my head I'm weird um, so I'm making four to have throughout the week and that'll probably only last like two days because the city will probably use them too all right the fridge fridge is looking much better I do have to prep um, I'm gonna move the yep tomatoes <laughs> to a container and probably wash the berries as well. But overall it is so much more, so much more room. Everything in there is fresh and usable. Oh, yep, yeah, I gotta wash the top shelf. After cleaning out the refrigerator, it was about dinner time and I really just did not feel like having a chicken dinner and you know, taking a long time to cook. So I, since I had nothing planned, my go-to is usually like a quinoa bowl of some sort because they are easy. You can throw whatever you have on hand on a quinoa bowl and call it dinner. So I had some sweet potatoes that I ended up roasting. I just cut them up into little chunks. I seasoned with olive oil, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and then this seasoning from Trader Joe's. the oven set to 425 in case you guys were curious I put in the sweet potatoes first because they do take the longest and then I cut up some red bell pepper into thicker slices um, and then I also drained and rinsed some chickpeas so canned chickpeas so we had sweet potatoes red pepper and chickpeas as far as the roasted veggies go and again with the same exact seasoning I put them in the bowl and toss them around with all of the same seasonings. And so after about 10 minutes, I took the uh, tray with these sweet potatoes out and put the chickpeas and the peppers on and I roasted them for about 15 minutes-ish. It just depends on how large you slice them. So I guess I stopped recording when I was building these quinoa bowls, but it was very easy. I did the easy 90 second quinoa. I like to have that on hand, you know, when I'm feeling extra lazy. I did that and then I also did some of that bib lettuce. I had the roasted vegetables on there. I added some cherry tomatoes and then a little edamame. We had that in the fridge as well. And then I just used the leftover honey mustard dressing from my wrap and I poured that on top and it was an easy meal. So it's the end of the night. It's 9.30 actually. I probably would have had this snack earlier, but I was editing my video. I was craving chocolate. I had to, these are in my house, so of course. So these are um, dark chocolate covered power berries. I don't know, I'll probably just have a handful of these. I'm gonna try to limit them um, just because you know they are a treat, but I'm not gonna be restrictive with myself. If I want chocolate, I'm gonna have a little bit of chocolate. I'm not gonna go overboard or anything like that. Um, but if I want it, I'm gonna have it because as soon as I start being restrictive is when things go south for most people. So anyway, I don't know why I bothered to pop that one in my mouth as I'm talking. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I think I'll be doing more food prepping not tonight since sleep, but maybe tomorrow I'll make some like oats and whatnot to have um, an easy grab and go thing. So if you guys wanna see a video with you know food prepping, let me know. I would love to share with you guys what this journey is gonna look like. I am on a mission to stay healthy and get healthy. <laughs>